Simpson in the eye. Behind Garrison, third and 23. Garrison to throw, rolling right. At the pressure, sets it up to Henson. He's got it. At the 40-yard line, Charlie Johnson nails him back at the 44-yard line. And here they come. There's the up on the far side. Clear wide over there. Let's see if there's a missing. Oh, he's got it. And that ball is at it. At the 50-yard line. Oh, he's got it. 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 Oh, he's got it.
Lucas are up with one second to go here in a half. Ashland's leading at 12-7. It happened on the far sideline, the worst place for it to happen because the Clay County fans came out of the stands and I saw one fan kicking and shoving on Charlie Johnson. Got his helmet on. They took his helmet off of him so they could get to his face. It was about, they had at least a half a dozen ruckuses going on. One would stop, another would start. And, uh, well, they better be strong in the second half. You better. They there better, better be some flying yeah, yeah, or they're going to lose total control if they aren't having already. I think they have lost total control. First of all, they should be sitting up in the dressing room and yeah. talking to Right them. now, that's yeah. where everybody should be. Everybody right now should be in the dressing room trying to cool off. But the officials have still got both teams out on the field just one second ago. It doesn't make any difference. It's not worth a, somebody getting hurt for one second. Absolutely no excuse for this. These officials are still talking with Vic Marsh. Eugene Hensley is waiting very patiently in midfield. The Clay County coach wanted to know what's going on. And the discussion with Vic Marsh is now over, and now they'll go talk with Coach Hensley over on the far sideline to find out what's going on. 12-7 to 7 when the fight breaks out with one second to go and a half. Thank God neither, it doesn't look like anybody was hurt from either team. Thank God nobody was hurt from either team. Because I mean they were going after it. And that's exactly the right thing to do. Clay County's players and coaches are still out near midfield, and here come the police. We've got two police cars coming in, and God knows we need it. Thank God they're here. Because I'm telling you, the Clay County fans are...